Welcome to Bite Size Science, brought to you by the American Chemical Society, the world's largest scientific society. I'm Adam Dolefsky. Maybe you're a daredevil on the soccer field. Maybe you're always the one in grass-stained clothes, with skin knees and dirty fingernails. Or maybe you're more of a careful, indoor kind of person. Whether you're an adventure seeker or overly cautious, either way, you're still at risk for breaking a bone or two. If you're outfitted now in a bulky, decorated cast, or just an ordinary sling, don't be too self-conscious. You're not alone. Studies show that about 1 in 28 people break bones each year. But why so many, you ask? Consider this. Adults have 206 bones in their bodies, and more than half of them are found in our hands and in our feet. So you can see how breaking a bone is just an accident waiting to happen. And when it does happen, many broken bones require surgery to heal. This type of repair, believe it or not, uses screws, nails, metal plates, and pins to help align the bones. Although plates and pins are suitable for certain bones, like the large ones that make up our arms and our legs, these just aren't a good fit for small bone fractures. Led by Russell Stewart, researchers from Utah are whipping up an alternative to screws and nails used in repairing bones. Instead of using metal hardware, they want to use glue. To do it, they're calling on Mother Nature, where they found a tiny sea creature that could help. It's known as the sandcastle worm, and it lives in the ocean's forever shifting intertidal zone. This region is underwater during high tide and exposed to air during low tide. The worm protects itself from predators and from the rough surf by building a shell made of sand and other broken pieces of shells. Check out how it builds a home using bits of silicon in a lab. Just how does it build this home for itself? With an unusual type of glue that actually works underwater. The researchers have copied the sandcastle worm's glue and believe it can be used to paste together pieces of fractured bone in the human body. Tests have shown that this new glue is as strong as superglue and is twice as strong as the worm's glue. Stewart's team found that the worm's glue is based on chemicals called coacervates, which are tiny round droplets made up mostly of fat molecules called lipids. The components in the coacervates bind so tightly that they form separate spheres within the water rather than dissolving and floating away. Once the worm releases the glue, it hardens super fast, within about 30 seconds. So in the future, don't be surprised if the sandcastle worm's glue glues you back together. That's it for this Bite Size Science video podcast. Check out our other podcast at www.bitesizescience.com. For the American Chemical Society, I'm Adam Dolesky in Washington. I'll see you next time.